Three things what have changed in my life in the past six months is moving in with my partner and trying to get used to the way she does things and the way people live a normal life, if you like. Started looking after my health a lot more. My three main interests are helping people in addiction, looking after my health and sharing life with people that I love. I've had the support of Acorn Treatment Services. My girlfriend's been a good support and my family. A lot of people don't have that, do they? If you had to list three things what would change my, my behaviour, it would be honesty, open-minded and willingness. They're the three things what we ask people to practice on the Ramp Reduction and Motivation Programme, which is access that Stockport Community Drugs Team. Um, we have three programmes at the moment, um, and I'm also looking into doing peer support work with the Spotlight Group, helping people in addiction, helping people on the release from prison. As you're going into prison, I think they should be giving that information out. And also, before you're released, I think that information support should be there. I think Spotlight is a good way of looking into helping people from release from prison and in drug addiction because there's a lot of support networks out there. It's just what people don't know how to access them. Um, Spotlight is the team what works with the with police, um, they work with the Moles 18, they work with youth offenders, they work with the probation service, they work with the ACORN treatment services, the alcohol and drugs team, and basically they, help, they see what sort of access and support we need and whatever the circumstances, whether they need somewhere to live, whether they need some structure to the day. And, you know, depending on the individual, we've got quite a lot of different services, what can help. You want to start living or do you just want to exist? I suppose. It's hard to sort of like put that to somebody. Do they want to wear it? Well, no, they don't want to wear it, but do you know what? They need telling, don't they? Because otherwise, they're not going to grow as human beings. They're just going to go further into addiction. Sorry for the hurt that I've caused. I was in a bad place when I done this. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'm sorry if you can't forgive me. There's nothing I can do about that now. But I'm a changed person and I'm helping others in the position that I was in, I suppose. I got a text off my dad the other day and, you know, I'll show it you if you want. Just thought I'd send you a text, Rich, let you know how very, very proud I am of you. Keep doing well. You're the top lad. We got, I've got three brothers, you see. I used to be very close to my dad and, and things didn't, you know, I lived with him for, for a long time. But this message just... He knew I'd sort of get clean and get away from drugs. I've got my eyes open now, that's the difference. I was going through life blind before. I didn't have the awareness what I've got now. I feel, feel really happy in myself. Life's changed a lot, but it's the action and effort what you put in. That's the only way we're going to change. Mm -hmm.